Dr. Anne Jao had loans and credit to Wells of Fund address the issue on accessibility of the funds to the young people and informed them of the effort by the government to make sure that young people are empowered and can assess the funds to better their lives. We have 290 constituencies, so Wells of Fund operates in the 290 constituencies, or is something one of them. So there is a fund that is a rain fest for some constituencies, for groups of youth, groups of women, and groups of persons with disabilities in the Rosamu constituency. I also want to reiterate, one of the of fund is a revolving fund. People are just funding themselves into very many other social challenges because of the economic challenges that this COVID has brought on board. And so, there is no better time than uh, now for actualizing and also taking them to another level, the affirmative, uh, affirmative uh, engagement opportunities that the government has provided. Mr. Kinsley Kipuri, director SME Unit, challenged the young people to use platforms that are presented to them to help grow economically. I was seeing formal employment on the decline. I was seeing formal opportunities on the decline. I think it's going to be a big push for young people like yourselves to be organizing around the issues that are important to you. Even as we talk about SMEs and economic empowerment, I really, really like to challenge you to get together as entrepreneurially minded people. You already have an empowerment center and push for the kinds of businesses you want to start here, push for the kind of funding you want the challenges to. Like I said, the rest of the show will say. You can push us and say, we're organized with this kind of funding, we're paying for the one, who is the challenge? And that's where we can come in. And I'm sure part of the rest we can come and make it where you want. At the same time, the area chief, Mr. Munga, emphasized on the initiatives by the government to the young people, especially now as the country continues to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. He asked the young people to utilize the funds set up by the government and use the monies in the right way. In his closing remarks, say that they have been keeping the young people engaged through the Kazim Tahani initiative during the pandemic with an aim to keep them from crime related activities. COVID 19, security drug abuse so they are being engaged to wafanya kazi while speaking to Y254 TV, Dr. Ann said that the government has reviewed its repayment interest to accommodate young people who have been affected by the pandemic. Weather Fund has been on the forefront as a government initiative to come to the plight of the young persons in terms of provision of uh, credit. And especially in the COVID situation, you know, a lot of uh, businesses and engagements for the young person have really been adversely affected. So as a fund, we have come out very uh, strongly to be able to support them, to give them a buffer where they can begin from. And one of the things that the fund has also done is to relax the, the, relax the repayment. So we, we, we've been kind of a situation where we are not pushing them so much and we are, in, in fact, encouraging them to begin uh, to, to, to restructure their repayment. Uh, their repayment terms at the very local level so that they are able to engage in their activities. We have also been promoting uh, 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 groups or other youths or young persons who are involved in uh, activities that are directly uh, into the COVID situation. For example, we have quite a lot of them that are into the sanitizers and making of the mask and what have you, and we are encouraging them, encouraging them to continue into that. So as a fund, we are on the forefront, realizing that this is a challenge that is unprecedented, but we are happy as a fund to be able to provide some very uh, accessible uh, a learning facility, so to call it. On the other hand, regarding this year's theme for the International Youth Day, Pathways Director Peter Ngure said the aim of this year's event is to encourage young people to have dialogue with the government in helping them capitalize on their talents and gifts. So today is the International Youth Day, which is celebrated every year on the 12th of August. And we are trying to bring together young people with the theme of uh, 
engagement at the global and global actions so that young people can can look at what's happening globally nationally and at their local levels and also have a conversation of what can they do because now we believe it's no longer the time when young people are being told what to do right now they have ideas as you've listened to them they have brilliant ideas of what they would want to see being done by government and so we are encouraging them to have an open dialogue with government officials also young people have a lot of fear interacting with government officials, especially like where we are now, it's a chief's camp, there's a police station here. I, a lot of young people will never visit this place unless we invite them and they interact with these people and find that there are so many opportunities that are there for Wezo Fund, for Youth Fund. The chief has Kazim Tan, which is filling up the list. So that interaction and that uh, kind of engagement improves the dialogue that young people have and improves their capacities. Reporting for Y254, my name is Patricia Murioki.